back it's me just Tiffany B and you guys I'm finally filming for the new year I know I've been gone for a little minute I've been gone for a little minute but you guys I'm back and I'm here to try out this new video um I'm obsessed with watching these videos and basically that's the get ready with me trying on new products and you guys I had something here for a while that I have not touched and I've just been staring at because they look so beautiful and I'm gonna use it today you guys I'm gonna use it today now what the heck am I talking about yes you guys I'm going to use my real techniques bold metal collection it's been sitting on my desk just you know just for looks and you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and use them today. Why not? Alright, I'm too lazy to wash my brushes, so I'm just going to crack these out of the packages. And you know, we're going to see how it works. <laughs> but anyways, if you can't tell by the title, I'm trying a whole bunch of new products that I recently got. And I have not tried any of them yet. Some of them might be out for a while. And I just never got around to trying it. So let's just go ahead and jump into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Stick around and watch me test out all these new products. You guys, I have not did I have not done a video like this before. So I hope I'm not rambling too much. But let's go ahead and dive right on in. The first thing I do <clears throat> when I do my makeup, I do my eyebrows. And you guys, I'm almost nervous to do my eyebrows today because I faithfully always go for my Anastasia dip brow and I'm in the color Ebony. But you guys, I'm going to try a color pop today. I have the color black and brown. It looks a little bit too brown inside the tube because my eyebrows are very bullfully black. I even dyed my hair black. So we shall see. I'm nervous you guys. One thing I can say, it is very pigmented. But let's see. I can't really see the brown too much. I can honestly say I don't see the difference between the Anastasia Dip Brow and the Colourpop Dip Brow. I can honestly say that. Okay, so I've tried this out once or twice before and this is the MAC Prep and Prime. And right off the bat, I'm just going to let y'all know. I love this primer like I don't know where I have been without this eye primer it's a 24 extended eye relief primer and let me just say it could last 24 hours once you put it on your eyes it makes like a sticky base so when you put your eyeshadow on it likes a hair to it I'm so excited to dive into this palette like <laughs> I was freaking out when I hauled it if you watch my Sephora haul but ever since then I have not touched it like it's been nerve-wracking to me <laughs> go ahead and start out in the crease and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this new brush today you guys um this is the real techniques 200 brush I I want to feel it's a crease blending brush so that's what we're gonna use it for today um, I'm gonna stand uh, start off with sandalwood this light brown right here in this corner and I'm just gonna put this all over my eye just to make it a nice color to start off with uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take henna um, this seems like a more reddish, deeper brown. I'm just going to focus that on the inner, on my, in my crease. I'm just going to pack that on just a little bit and just blend it out. I'm going to put some cocoa right in the crease just to darken it up some more. That's not showing up on the brush at all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Got a little color right here. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> no. Um, let me try my hand. Let me just try to go on with my hand. So 
So you guys, when I saw on social media that iLord teamed up with a whole bunch of YouTubers and Nicole Guerrero was a part, you know how to go, I had to go get her lashes. I had to get her lashes. Um, I see that there's two different styles for Nicole Guerrero. Um, this one I got the 143s. I have not tried them on just as yet. I found them in Walgreens. So let's go ahead and throw these puppies on. All right, you guys, so I'm back, curled my lashes. Um, I had to end up taking this one off because I put way too much space in between these lashes and I hate when I do that. <sighs> but I took them off and I brought them closer and these are the Nicole Guerrero, ooh, Nicole Guerrero <laughs> collaboration with Ilor. So these are the lashes on my eyes. One thing I can say about these lashes, it makes your natural lash very full. And it's like very condensed right here and feathers out as you go in this way. And <laughs> I love it a lot. Now that let's go ahead and whip out this foundation. This is the Cl oh, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and you guys you know I had to pick this up um if you already saw this coming when I hauled this in my video I never tried it out yet um what shade am I in I'm in 23 ginger um when I saw this foundation it really spoke to me just because of the wand because I really felt like this would be the easiest way to put on foundation like I love the concealer that I have because it comes with the wand so this is basically like a concealer in a bigger bottle and it's just meant for foundation so this is the two in one foundation plus concealer allergy tested 100% fragrant free fragrance free don't smell anything uh, modern to full coverage naturally matte finish Um, my forehead all up here is perfect. I just want to put a little bit more coverage on my cheeks because that is where my problems are. So let's go ahead and dab some more onto the cheeks. I need you to cover it, foundation. I need you to cover. You guys, I found this in Marshalls for a discounted price. Like, it's cheaper to buy it in Marshalls. It, it was even cheaper than Anastasia Black Friday sale. Like, I found this palette for $19.99 and it's originally $40, I believe, the homie to it. I got the shade Medium and I never touched this bad boy yet. I'm gonna use my 101 Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with cream right here. There we go. Yeah? So I really like this brush because it really gets right underneath my eyes you kind of see the triangle that it makes and you know you just go like this you go like this so yeah i really like this brush a lot one thing i can say i feel that is very prickly though because kept stabbing me a little bit same thing with this this brush kept stabbing me a lot when i was going like this so i'm going in with the real techniques um 301 brush and i'm just going to basically set my cream foundation with my powder foundation and i use this all the time like this is the only thing that i use to contour my face and this is the black radiance powder found um uh, contour you know what i'm talking about right okay just gonna go ahead and use this fluffy brush it's so fluffy um this is the 103 
Oh my gosh, look how huge it is. And matter of fact, while I'm doing this, let me just go in with my Makeup Forever. I've used this all the time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast through this, but this brush is a dream, you guys. and dip in with this blush brush and this is 100 from real techniques and <laughs> let's go the brushes just makes me feel so fancy when i'm holding it oh my god <laughs> yeah do you see that pigmentation though You guys, I'm so, I'm like super excited to try this. This is the Lancome Paris Subtle Glow Subtle. This is the Silky Cream Highlighter. And I have the shade Glow, oh, uh, Gold Light. So the packaging comes in this silver packaging. And this is the highlighter right here. I hold this in my video as well. So you guys already know about it. You know, but this thing is so silky, is like butter. I'm just gonna go ahead and dab it into my beauty blender. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just squeezing the beauty blender tighter this time because I know I don't want it. I don't want the highlighter to be thick and cover up too much of the blush. Um, but um, do you guys see this highlighter? Like, do do you see this highlighter? One thing I hate about highlighters is just that when I put it on and I walk around, you see like this big shiny streak, like this streak that stands out on your face. This is so subtle and it's just like effortlessly glowing, like I'm just glowing from within. Like I don't have to blend this out at all. I'm using this highlight as a base. I'm, I'm going to apply a powder foundation because I recently also picked up this anastasia beverly hills glow kit and you guys i heard so many i heard so many different reviews about this highlighter palette and i want to test it out for myself just to see what's really going on i'm going with the brush 300 and this is their highlighter brush well the way it's shaped to me it looks like a highlighter brush so i'm just going to go ahead and use this brush and i'm going to apply Hmm. Huh. I'm going to apply hot sand, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to apply this one right here. Okay, um, most people have been saying about this highlighter is just that it sits on top of your cheek and it has such chunky glitters that it just looks not like a highlighter but like glitter slapping you in your face. And honestly, I disagree. Honestly, if you're going to be wearing this highlighter, people are going to be seeing it from afar. Okay, so if you want one of those subtle highlights that's just going to melt into your skin and, you know, kind of give it a little glow, then it's not for you no but like if you're one of those people that you know you want your highlighter to be popping like you just want your highlighter to be like you know um then this highlight would be definitely for you and i just love mixing the colors but this time around i only use hot sand this is the first time i'm opening this on camera you guys don't judge me well, if I were watching this video, I would judge me too. Why the heck have I not opened this? Like, I had this for some months now just sitting in my room like, uh, I'll get around to it. I'll get around filming it, and I never filmed it, you guys. I did, of course, get my hands on the Coco collection, and yeah, I'm so torn. I am so torn. Gorge will look good, but Cool Money will, like, look good too. I went with Gorge, you guys. <laughs> I'm glad that I chose this color. I'm so glad that I chose... Oh my gosh. Why has this been sitting up? I'm not gonna lie. I honestly feel like this is like a different... 
um, consistency. This feels like a different formula compared to her other liquid lipsticks. I feel like as she's gone, Kylie has been updating her formula because this is not the same as um, Mary Jo. This is not the same as Mary Jo. So this is gorgeous, you guys. You just wrap up this look with some setting spray. Now, I haven't tried this Bosha white charcoal mattifying setting spray. So let's go ahead and give this bad boy a try. <coughs> it's a very light mist. Like, it's not like a stream of water just what bam in your face. I think I did everything, you guys. This is my final look. Alright, you guys. I honestly don't know how long this video is going to be. If you really stick through the end of this video, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Leave your thoughts all down below. Let me know which product you're excited for trying out or let me know if you already have any of the products. Guys, we're in the new year 2017. Happy New Year's. I wish great blessings for all of you guys. I, I almost don't want to end this video. I felt so happy to sit here and actually talk to you guys. You know I'm talking to my camera right now, but hey. I'm talking to you guys. Um, I hope you got to know a little bit more about me. I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye, you guys. See you later.